the zoo. Many students are doing the mistakes while they are installing the SQL Server. They are trying to install the SQL Express and they are trying to complete the practicals of BI which is not possible to be done by using the SQL Express. So which SQL Server to be installed, how it should be installed and how it should be configured, those steps I am trying to tell you in this particular video. So for downloading the SQL Server, you can just type SQL Server maybe 2019 download or 2022 download, any of the option is allowed. Then you can go to the SQL Server downloads, the recent version has also been okay. Please remember that, do not try any kind of on-premise or cloud etc. You can just move ahead with the free one, but use the developer option. So here I am selecting the developer and giving the click on download. It will take some time for the sake of completing the download. Once download is completed, just give a click on this installation file and it will start installing the Microsoft SQL Server. I don't want to work with the SQL Express. I need to work with the SQL Server. That's the reason I'm creating this video because I had seen many students are asking the question that this thing is not working, that thing is not working and they are trying with the SQL Express. Now do not use the basic one, do not use download media, use the option at custom. So now let's see what are the different options need to be selected when you're selecting the option at custom. So it will take few minutes for completing the download and starting the setup. Okay, this installation may take few minutes depending on the downloading speed. Once the installation has been downloaded and the packages have been downloaded, the uh, packages will start getting installed and then we require to move towards to a customization of the installation. So wait for a minute and now let us go with the installation of SQL Server. The version I had downloaded is SQL Server 2022 developer edition. This will not install the SQL Server Management Studio. It need to be installed separately. So first we need to understand which are the different services need to be selected while installing the SQL Server on your machine. Because otherwise what will happen? You will work with the SQL Express and the things will not at all happen the way in which it should be for the SQL Server practical. Wait a minute, the installation will start now. Now here you'll get the option called planning, installing, maintenance tools. You go to the installing uh, installation and here you can select the option called as install SQL Server management tools, install SQL Server data tools. But the first option need to be selected by you as new SQL Server standalone installation or add the features in the existing installation. So I will be starting with the new SQL Server standalone installation. Fine. Now in the screen, you need to select the specifying the free edition that is developer Then give a click on next. License in terms, you need to accept it, then give a click on next. So running check has been tested, no need to check the updates, give a click on next. Here it will check the installing setup files. The options are skipped or been completed. Once that has been completed, then give a click on next. There is no need to go for installing Azure extension for SQL Server. We are not working with the cloud. Then give a click on next. Now over here, the important options need to be selected by you. You need to select database engine. You can select over here SQL Server replication. Uh, there is nothing else need to be selected. Please, please select the analysis services. Please select your integration services. You can select your scale out masters or scale out worker. Don't select it, but these options need to be selected. Then give a click on next. Please select the location where your SQL server is getting installed. Here it asks you about default instance or named instance. Okay, fine. If you want to keep your own name for your server, you can keep your name of the server. Suppose I'm keeping it as a by uh, maybe SQL. I'm keeping it as a by SQL. And instance ID is also I'm giving it the same as a by SQL. Then give a click on next. Here the SQL server agent, it can be manual. I will prefer it should be also been started as automatic. If it has not been given an automatic, don't worry. You can go to services. You can still go for changing the option. Then give a click on next. 
here you please add the current user and give a click on next please select the option as multi dimensional mode do not use a tabular mode and select add current user then give a click on next further after looking at this particular description then you can go for giving the click on install so this will take few minutes for completing the installation once the installation has been completed we required to install the sql server management tool source so let this sql server setup get completed first and then we will check how to go for installing the sql server management studio once this is completed please give a click on okay now this will be completing the entire setup our sql server 2022 a developer edition got installed so you can just now give a click on close installation has been successful do not stop the installation because we need to install the sql server management tools also that is the sql server management studio also. so we require to download the sql server management studio and complete the installation of the sql server management studio also so let's see the steps which are used for downloading and installing the sql server management studio so now i have just gone to the microsoft website and selected download ssms that is sql server management studio the setup is getting downloaded and then we will be completing the setup of sql server management studio my sql server management studio setup is being downloaded and i will be starting the installation of the sql server management studio this is quite easy to complete the installation of ssms just follow the steps properly for installing the management studio just give a click on install if you need to change the location you can decide the location yes so this will be downloading the required resources loading the packages and completing the installation this will not be a, a tougher job to install while it get installed we will just check whether our sql server service is properly running or not to do that i just give a click on start and select the option as services so i selected the services over here under the services you will find there is a service which has been started named as sql server and the name as at given for the server is by sql so the same server is been shown over here along with the status as running even you can find sql server agent is also running analysis services is also running the browser setup is also running so all the required services for sql server they are all are in a proper running mode and now to communicate with this all option either we can use the visual studio or you can use our sql server management studio this is wait for few minutes till the time the installation is not getting completed okay so we had completed our uh, setup and it asked me that you restart the machine for completing your installation successful but i will not go for installing right now <clears throat> this is your sql server management studio so you can go towards what your sql server management studio so i will just try to go for specifying sql server management studio you can right click and select it as the administrator and we will try to connect our management studio with our sql server version that is sql server by or by sql ka kuch server ka naam diya tha 
वो हम लोग उसको क्या करेंगे कनेक्ट करेंगे तो लेट स्टार्ट विद द मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू कनेक्ट विद अवर सर्वर इट इज बेटर टू गो फॉर स्टार्ट इन द मशीन आफ्टर द सर्वर इज इंस्टॉलेशन बीन कंप्लीटेड प्रॉपर बट अदरवाइज यू कैन मैनिकुलेट बाय यूजिंग सर्विसेज आल्सो यू कैन सेलेक्ट ओवर हियर सर्विसेज एंड यू कैन सी वेदर ऑल द सर्विसेज आर प्रॉपरली रनिंग और नॉट ऑलरेडी इट इज बीन टोल्ड बाय मी टू यू दैट द सर्विस ऑफ एसक्यूएल सर्वर्स आर रनिंग प्रॉपरली एंड द नेम ऑफ माय एसक्यूएल सर्वर इज अभय एसक्यूएल सो आई ट्राई टू कनेक्ट विद अवर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो towards the abhay sql let's close this i close down the setup also with no need i just close down my browser window also and the management studio is getting open so we'll just wait for some time let the management studio should get open and we will try to connect with our abhay sql as a server so fine it is coming same and given a click on connect i can connect to a database engine and if i want i can connect towards my analysis services check whether you are able to connect by using analysis services or not so this is the way by which you are completing your sql server installation which you need for your business intelligence practical okay so do not install sql express and try out the practical it will not work thanks a lot so much